for our latest cover story, Carrie Howley went deep into the wellness-obsessed world of Andrew Huberman, talking with former girlfriends who reveal a darker side to the neuroscientist-turned-podcast host. Manipulative behavior, deceit, and numerous affairs. <laughs> oh my god. Guy likes fucking hot girls. Let's fucking all hate him. This hit piece attempted to make Huberman into a deceitful, sexist villain, and it did not work. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Taking a break from the fresh and fit drama with fresh impregnating a Chinese sugar baby. We will be looking at by popular request the infidelity or crazy player lifestyle of the neuroscientist Andrew Huberman. So let's jump right in here without further ado. The comments section, do guys love Huberman? more after this info leaked. We are focusing on Andrew Huberman, and Huberman Lab is his podcast, and it is almost always in top 10 of the global podcast. So this is a major podcast. This guy was like outed as having a bunch of different girlfriends is what I heard. But make sure you like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Charts. And it is usually number one in the health and science category. And for very, very good reason. I mean, Huberman is brilliant. He is curious. He is inquisitive. But he speaks in a way that the common man understands. He's also not afraid to push back against the experts and the doctors and all of their mainstream ideas that they've been taught for years and years and years. So obviously, I am sure that he is on some big pharma and big medicine shit lists. And that was incredible incredibly evident in this hit piece released by New York Magazine. Maggie. So her theory here is that he's basically getting attacked by the Matrix, okay, because he's on the shit list of big pharma because <laughs> he opposes different popular viewpoints. So they're going to make a hit piece showing how he's fucking a bunch of different girls at the same time because that's bad, don't you know? From Fee tweeted out and said, notice how two major mainstream news pieces dropped this week aimed at undermining confidence in those promoting non-pharmaceutical health interventions. We are timing. I wonder what's going on behind the scenes at Big Pharma. Interesting, isn't it? I hope the behind the scenes- Who gives a shit what the motivations are? Let's explore what, what's going on with this guy's player life. They are freaking out because people across this country and across the world are finally taking control of their bodies and not listening to the terrible advice that has been peddled to us by our government for years. Anyway, New York Magazine tweeted and said, for our latest cover story, Carrie Howley went deep into the wellness-obsessed world of Andrew Huberman, talking with former girlfriends who reveal a darker side to the neuroscientist-turned-podcast host, manipulative behavior, deceit, and numerous affairs. Oh, no. Here's the cover. Here's Huberman falling for Dr. Huberman, the private and public seductions of the world's biggest pop neuroscientist. Now, first of all, Huberman, if you're watching this, I think that you should just be proud because you are impactful enough that they are writing hit pieces on you. Like... <laughs> he should be proud that he's plowing a lot of box. I just hit, I'm on a good run this week. Last week, I had a, a little bit of a lull. Okay, I was stuck at 1781 girls this week. I banged back-to-back 19-year-olds, -back then a 26-year-old, then a 23-year-old. So I've got four new this week. Up to 1,785, moving right along on the path 2K. But apparently this dude, you know, was fucking a bunch of girls at the same time. So that's supposed to be an outrage. I think that's the normal state of how things should be. But if you'd like to fuck multiple girls in a day, or in a week, or just find the special someone. You can book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description, and we will go over all the options for how we can get you there very quickly. That should be another notch on your belt. It's bound to happen at some point. That just means that somebody is afraid of you or just wants to ride on your coattails. Either way, you're doing a good job. Somebody tweeted and said, Big Pharma made the call. I think they made the call twice this week based on these articles. Anyway, this hit piece attempted to make Huberman into a deceitful, sexist villain, and it did not work. Newsflash, talking to ex-girlfriends and only getting one side of the story usually isn't a fair or a good look in general. Somebody commented and said, so journalism is digging up the ex-girlfriends of your political enemies and printing whatever they say. Can we get some more layoffs? Yes, that'd be great. Another person said, New York Magazine should spend this level of resources on people who matter, rather than on what is clearly the estrogenic projection of a girl slighted this girl's voice annoys the fuck out of me. Or ghosted by white fitness <laughs> dudes. I mean, it's the bare minimum. Like, maybe just dig a little bit deeper than some ex-girlfriends. But anyway, I urge you to go read the article. It is free online to read right now. It is juicy. It is gossipy. I enjoyed reading it, but it lacks all substance. In case you don't want to read it, it basically follows an ex-girlfriend of Andrew Huberman's who is painted in this adoring light. They say, she's dewy, everybody loves her, she's radiant, she's exceptional, all of these things. And she details their allegedly tumultuous relationship where he would back out of plans, like not going to her family's Thanksgiving, he would be consumed by work, he allegedly cheated, all while they were apparently going through fertility treatments for this woman. Meanwhile, even though she's saying that it was tumultuous, she felt madly in love with Huberman and just 
just wanted to cook and take care of him, much to the gall of her feminist friends, which just cracked me up. They had a comment from one of her friends who were like, this was not like her, we're feminists. She should not be cooking for him. It was just, again, ridiculous, the whole thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the Fresh and Fit show, they say that's all that women should be doing is cooking in the kitchen. And all the little impressionable young men around the world are like, okay, uh, thanks, Fresh and Fit. Uh, now we know absurd. But anyway, after these cheap They already learned that from Andrew Tate anyway. ...allegations, this woman apparently moved out of their house that they shared together very angrily, but stayed in a relationship with Huberman. Apparently stayed in an exclusive relationship. Huberman says that that is false and that they separated <laughs> at that point. We were on a break. We were on a break. Oh. Yeah, we were on a break. But this woman continued to hang on and she found women that he had slept with or had been dating at some point in his life, collecting them all, and has now been able to use them for this article, helping to share all of their stories. They have a group chat now of all six of them compiled timelines and screenshots they became <laughs> friends it's like the Huberman girl gang boo what? weird it's just a bit odd if I'm gonna be real but then the article got into him a six ex-girlfriends wow shock allegedly juggling all of these women and how it happened based on their POV, which like we have to be real is very, very funny. But they wrote, there was a day in Texas when after Sarah, that's the original girl, left his hotel, Andrew slept with Mary and texted Eve. They found days in which he would text nearly identical pictures of himself to two of them at the same time. They Yeah, this is like every day for me. Realized that the day before he had moved in with Sarah in Berkeley, he had slept with Mary and he had also been with her in December of 2023, the weekend before Sarah caught him on the couch with a sixth woman. They realized that on March 21st- It's called the rotation. Pretty fun. 2021, a day of admittedly impressive logistical jujitsu. While Sarah was in Berkeley, Andrew had flown Mary from Texas to LA to stay with him in Topanga. While Mary was there visiting from thousands of miles away, he left her with Costello. He drove to a coffee shop where he met Eve. They had a serious talk about their relationship. They thought they were in a good place. He wanted to make it work. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. That's just chaos. It's like when fucking Tiger Woods got outed. He was married to some chick and they found out he was like banging everyone. <laughs> oh my God. Guy likes fucking hot girls. Let's fucking all hate him. Again, we have no idea whether this is real or not. There were no screenshots. It's really just a lot. Again, I run the best eight week mentorship program in the fucking space. Okay. Within one to two months, guys have a whole rotation of hot girls that they're banging regularly and they have new girls coming in if they want that. Or you can just pick the best one and make that your girlfriend. Okay. Book a free 30 minute call and we can make that happen for you very, very quickly. But if he said, or she said, but if that is actually true, I mean, I don't even know how a man would do that in a single day or two days. Somebody tweeted and said, <laughs> it's easy. You just fucking go from one to the next. I had a, a situation the other day, <laughs> actually stressful. There was like one Uber arriving to pick a girl up and another one arriving to drop a girl off. Right. And there was like two minutes in between. I was like, oh fuck, if this, if this dude cancels, we're going to have a fucking problem because the girl's going to arrive. I'm going to be at the place with another girl. That's happened a whole bunch of times. And then you have to tell the one arriving, oh, actually I'm not home right now. You have to <laughs> go meet me at such and such restaurant. They go out of the way. You get the one that's there out of the way. But I've had them where they've like talked to each other in the lobby. They're like, did you just come from John's place? And she's like, I did actually. <laughs> So you got to be careful. Huberman should do an episode on scheduling and calendar management. Like that might- I have a module in, <laughs> in my course called calendar management and scheduling and rescheduling and canceling. That's like a daily activity that you have to do. Logistical jujitsu, as they call it. That's what one of your problems becomes, okay, once you're running the eight-week program. Or if you want the do-it-yourself cheaper solution, you can look at my product leads machine. That gives you all my text sequences, all my Tinder message sequences, and shows you how to run and close the dates. And you just stack them up on autopilot. It'd be a great way to come back after this hit bees. I don't know. Somebody else said, that's stamina you can only achieve with cold plunges in AG1. What a plug for his sponsors. I guess I have to step up my game. Huberman did not comment on this piece. He declined to be interviewed, but the writer did speak to a spokesperson of Huberman's, and she wrote, Huberman declined to be interviewed for the story. Through a spokesperson, Huberman says that he did not become exclusive with Sarah until late 2021, that he was not doted on, that the tasks between him and Sarah were shared based on a mutual agreement and proficiency, and that their Thanksgiving plans were tentative, and that he maintains a very busy schedule and shows up to the vast majority of his commitments. This spokesperson also said that they were not trying to have children together, which is what this woman, Sarah, said, but that he was simply helping her through IVF and helping her create embryos. There was not a lot of detail about that. That seems like it would be having children together. Maybe it was a different arrangement. I don't know. People do weird things these days. Who knows? The spokesperson also denied that Huberman has anger issues and started fights with this woman. And <laughs> of course, what do you expect him to say? He continued to assert that they were- It's like Diddy. Diddy's like- 
being accused of like fucking Meek Mill and there's like sex audio apparently allegedly and like all these other things seducing Bieber and Usher like all this fucking whack shit and they're like yeah people are just looking for a payday but there's like audio recordings there's like hard evidence for a bunch of these things like his son is now being accused of like sexually assaulting a bartender on a fucking yacht. They just deny all of it flat out right. What are they supposed to say? And then turns out there's audio from his fucking production studio okay? because they wanted the production audio always on in case he had some idea. And it like caught the son on audio like fucking trying to allegedly force himself on this chick okay? and being all aggressive. And it, it's fucking, it's disgusting. I don't know how... Well, it said that that girl claimed that the captain of the boat was paid off. Okay, and then the girl was fired, right? Diddy fucking paid her off. And there's some pretty disturbing allegations by Diddy's ex, okay, that and he just settled that case immediately back in the fall. He settled it within like one day, but the, the allegations are pretty fucking disturbing. What do you expect Huberman to say, right? A lot of this stuff's probably true, but he has to try to save face. Not exclusive until 2021, even though this woman says that they were exclusive back in 2018 or 2019, and he asserted that they separated in 2023, which she says they did not. Meanwhile, amidst all of this, other ex-girlfriends spanning over like 50 to 20 years, friends, classmates, co-workers, Stanford itself came out and defended Huberman in this article. The whole thing is a lot of he said, she said. The timeline just seems intentionally vague. You don't know when these other women come into play. They're jumping around from date to date. It's just chaos. That all sounds really fucking stupid. They're basically trying to paint him out as a bad guy. She thinks it's politically motivated with Big Pharma taking aim at Huberman. Either way, props to him. You can run a rotation too and have the sex life of your dreams. Just get on one of the free 30-minute calls. Calls. Watch my video on the end screen that goes over the five major problems in the game and how you can fix them. And make sure you let me know what you think about all this in the comments if you think Huberman is the man or not and why. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon